hello guys welcome back for today's video for our deck tech we have here a user submitted list again from ntg goldfish and this deck is called base surprise a lot is hungry saltai so saltai means uh, black green and blue it's uh, also a good color combination and this introduced here as to what uh, let's say as the benefit of having or creating food tokens and what would be the build around from that text strategy so just quick rundown for artifacts 22 creatures we have eight enchantments two instance and 24 lands with the mana fix for black red i mean black green and blue or soul tie colors so we go on first with the deck wherein the strategy would go go for with uh, growing your early drops by creating these artifact food tokens and also getting the benefit out of it so first up is four copies of Titting Wormlet. This is from Brothers War, but uh, it was uh, presumably uh, assumed to be a good uh, creature for the standard metagame, but sadly it has not yet uh, seen its full potential. Maybe for this one, for this uh, kind of build with Wilds of the Drain. So it's ability that whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you will gain one life. And if it is the first time that this ability is resolved, you will put a percent counter on sitting world left so once it's turn at the very least you get to gain one life and place a percent counter on sitting world left and succeeding triggers would also have you gain one life in the process and it has its passive ability that whenever you control three or more artifacts it has uh, that touch so early on can you have uh, one drop here and can curve later on as more of your food tokens are created so next up we get to see the two drop of this deck we have an elvish archivist it's two cast zero one but whenever one or more artifacts enter the battlefield under your control put two plus percent counters on elvish archivist and only trigger once its turn but uh, whenever one or more enchantments enter the battlefield under your control you will draw a card so this would also trigger once its turn so in terms of having these enchantments as you can see previous uh, preview we have several saga here we also have uh, instance where we'll be able to create uh, role i think we have uh, some role here no but uh, so basically we'll have more of these triggers that was added uh, we're focusing more on the some counters uh, added bigger for every of these artifacts that enters the battlefield under your control so we have four copies of this and then we also have four copies of the Goose Mother. So this is presumably again the new version of the Hydroicrasis from Ravnica Allegiance. And this version would also go with having a uh, two drop becomes just a two two flyer, but the bonus X uh, mana added to its uh, casting as you cast this, it will enter with X plus and plus and counters on it. And then with the rest of the field, you will create half of those X paid, uh, rounded up for creating this uh, number of food tokens and whenever you attack uh, the ghost mother attack uh, rather you may sacrifice a food and then if you do you will draw a card so this is also a good card engine per se and also a good flyer if more of this mana are spent to cast this one maybe in the mid game up to the late game setup now we also have four copies to a tough cookie so this is a 2 to cast 2-2 that when there's the battlefield you'll create a full token also and it is also an artifact creature per se which also triggers that of the Titting Wormlet and Elvish Archivist uh, ability so when there's the battlefield you create a full token it also has ability that you can pay 3 target non-artifact and uh, non-creature artifact you control becomes a 4-4 artifact creature token until end of turn so that means that you can also create another threat out of your uh, 4 or extra food tokens which makes them 4-4 and can also attack as an added attacker in that uh, setup and also you can pay two top sacrifice top cookie you gain three life so this instance would also become a food ability itself but the important thing is that you can also have these triggers and also have this uh, mana sink late game to create these uh, food tokens into potential attackers so that with the setup we also added the uh, three i mean two Greta with those scourge in this deck so it enters battlefield again create a food token and that's ability also to sacrifice pay green sacrifice of food put up some counter the creature activate only so sorcery or pay two what that's one in black sacrifice of food you draw a card and you lose one life so more of the utility creatures per se for the curve of this uh, three drop 
and uh, I think this is last one of the list for this creature lineup. We have Gumdra Poisoner, this is also a 3 mana cost, but early on can be cast via the Temp with Tears for the Adventure, wherein it will just create a food token. But this ability that when enters the battlefield, up to one target creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. So they would also rather help that you sacrifice this food and you gain life, and then as you uh, have this life gain uh, effect, you will have a uh, gumdrop poisoner's etb ability very effective that's killing a creature equal to the life uh, minus x minus x uh, equal to the life gain you uh, amount this turn so now for the enchantments we have first tier of our copies of the saga welcome to sweet tooth it is to do cast uh, first lore counter create a one one white human creature token and then uh, next is create a full token and then the third lore counter is put X minus encounters on target creature control, X is 1 plus the number of foods you control. So, align with this since we have several mana or creature that can create food under setup, adding this uh, plus number encounters would be very effective in this build. So, that's why we have 4 copies of this in the deck. And then we also have Knight of Switch Revenge, this is for the cast enchantment. And the battlefield again, they will create a food token. And foods you control have this ability that then they can create mana by uh, tapping them, add green mana to your mana pool and then five five uh that's five of any mana and two green sacrifice uh knight of switch revenge creatures you control gets plus x plus x until the turn where x number of foods you control but only can be activated as a sorcery but the good thing is there is that you can basically set up your food to have you ramp to extra mana which can later on help you by casting your goose mother for your x mana cost that can be very beneficial to have in those setup. Now for the added uh, support card in terms of artifacts, we have four copies of Candy Trail. In terms of battlefield, this is also a food clue. At, uh, it will have this ability that you can scry to as it enters the battlefield. And then you can pay two sacrifice it. You can gain three life and then draw a card. And that we go with uh, the final part, sort of. Uh, two copies of Go for the Throat. This is just the only spot removal in deck. But also this would go in the support of the gun drop poisoner wherein you can just have this ability to minus x minus x their uh, creatures equal to the life uh, gain you have this third and uh, for the land setup these are just composed of the check lands uh, dark six shores the slow lands that club grade and dream road cascade along with uh, some basic lands in low waste also for copies of rest is cottage this is the only uh, man land in this build when you can activate this one to become a 4-4 uh, red in black and green horror creature token uh, and whenever it attacks you can create also a food token in the setup so this is also another of your food producers which pretty much goes with the theme of this deck and can also exile up to one target card from a graveyard and also we have slow lands, shipwreck mars, basic lands and single kinuma and four copies of yummy mega coast i think it would also fit here so since we are not only having this basic lands is that we can also add at least a bosiju shelters uh all no that's the uh, which just do endures since we should also need to have a sort of a utility land uh, utility channel land in the setup and last but not the least again the mana curve is uh, at 2.17 we have basically a lot of two drops here with 18 and the six for the three drops uh color combination setup we have uh, 26 for green um black is 12 and blue is four Part producers is even here with the uh, green producers of 22, 16 for black and 10 for blue on the setup. And surprisingly, we only have the food token as our deck tokens and extras in this build. So I guess that's pretty much it for this deck deck. We have a Sultai. We call this a hungry Sultai, but I think I should call this one as a Sultai food aggro deck deck by service a lot. And... Uh, if you're uh, willing to test this deck in your MTG online or MTG arena uh, session, just let me know so that we can also link in the description the deck list for this so you can copy and paste it and do some adjustments depending on your setup and we can have a good also a good discussion on this uh, on the comment section. Again guys, that's pretty much it for this uh, deck deck for uh, Wild Super Drain Standard. You like subscribe and subscribe for more of these uh, videos on coming 
weeks as we go along and explore again the standard format pioneer format with uh, wilds of grain in our new set that uh, is featured for this channel again guys thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one